Our objective today is to be able to find the slope of a line given the graph of a line or given the coordinates of two points on the line. We will be able to use slope to determine if the lines are parallel or perpendicular. Let's begin by recalling what does slope mean. Another word for slope is rate of change. Slope is the change in y divided by the change in x, also known as the rise over the run. Remember, me rise means up or down, and run means right or left. This is another way to write change in y, delta y, and change in x. And this is the formula that helps us find the slope. When we find the change, we subtract the change in y, we subtract the y coordinates. Over the change in x, we subtract the x coordinates. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Here is a review of what different lines can look like. An increasing line going up has a positive slope. A decreasing line going down has a negative slope. And remember, we always read left to right. Left to right, this goes up. Left to right, this goes down. A horizontal line, which is constant, has a slope that is 0, horizontal, and a vertical line has a slope that is undefined. See, this is vertical, up and down. Sometimes it's easier to remember hoi and vux, a little memory trick, for horizontal lines. The H stands for horizontal. In vux, the V stands for vertical. This helps us to remember that a horizontal line has a zero slope. And the equation of a horizontal line will have a y in it, and it crosses the y-axis, like y equals 3. This might be the equation y equals 3. It crosses the y-axis only. A vertical line, u for undefined, has a slope that's undefined, and the x for crossing only the x-axis, and the equation of that line might be x equals 3. Hoi vux, a nice little trick to help us remember horizontal and vertical line information. Let's do some practice of calculating slope. Examples, calculate the slope of each line. So we will remember that slope, sometimes we use m as an abbreviation for slope, that's our symbol in y equals mx plus b, is rise over run. So I need to find two points to count the rise over run. Now there are no points that are shown to me. I need to find out where a vertical grid line crosses a horizontal grid line and see if the line crosses there. Like right here, this is a point, and later on, I see another point. So I can count the rise and the run. So I'm going to look at left point first. I always go left to right. So from the left, I have to go up two. So the rise is up two. And then I see I go over one, two, three, four, over four. So the run is to the right four. So that makes positive two over four but I can simplify that. 2 divided by 4 makes 1 half. The slope of this line is 1 half. Notice that my slope is positive because this line is increasing. It's going up as we read from left to right. Up, so positive slope. Notice this line is coming down. So as we read left to right, going down, down means I need a negative slope. Remember that slope is the rise over the run. So I'm going to find two points on this graph. I see a point here, and I see another point here. 
I'm going to count from left to right. I always start on the left. And I see from this point, I have to go down two blocks and then to the right two blocks. So the rise is down two blocks and then to the right two blocks. Down two means negative two and then over two. Well, this can be simplified to negative one. Negative one is the slope. Remember we said this line is decreasing, so it needs to have a negative slope. I could have picked two different points, but no matter how I find it, it will always simplify to the same slope. Number three, I'm given two points. This is one point that has an x and a y coordinate, and this is another point that has an x and a y coordinate. Because this is my first point, I'm going to call this x sub 1 and y sub 1. Because this is my second point, I'm going to call this x sub 2 and y sub 2. Because I have two points and I don't have a picture, I'm going to use the slope formula. m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And then I'm going to plug in the points that were given. y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So the y's subtracted from each other 10 minus 2 over, and now the x's, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. 3 minus 9. 10 minus 2 makes 8. 3 minus 9 makes negative 6. 8 divided by negative 6, I can reduce that. Now remember, if I need to use my calculator, I can easily type 8 divided by negative 6, enter, and make it a fraction. Math, enter, enter. Negative 4 thirds. Now I can always reduce that by hand or use the calculator. Negative 4 thirds is the slope. Why don't you pause the video, try the next two on your own, and come back and see how you did. Let's start by labeling these x sub 1 and y sub 1. Second point will be x sub 2 and y sub 2. Let's write down our slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. If I use the y sub 2 and y sub 1, that's negative 2 minus negative 2. I like to put parentheses when I have two negatives next to each other. Then I have the x's. x sub 2 is negative 1 minus 5. And now let's simplify. Negative 2 minus negative 2 is like saying negative 2 plus 2. That's the same thing. Negative 2 plus 2. That makes 0. Negative 1 minus 5 makes negative 6. And 0 divided by negative 6 makes 0. The slope is 0. This will make a horizontal line. Remember, hoy, the slope is zero, horizontal line. Number five, m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So let's label x and y for the first point, x and y for the second point. And let's start with the y's. 7 minus negative 1. And then the x is 3 minus 3. 7 minus negative 1 is the same as 7 plus 1. And 7 plus 1 is 8. 3 minus 3 is 0. I can't divide by 0. In fact, if I used my calculator, it would tell me error. Anytime I divide by 0, that is undefined. 
the slope of this line is undefined. That makes a vertical line. Remember, vux, undefined is the slope. U for undefined, vertical line, straight up and down. Number six. Now we have two lines for which we find the slope. This line is labeled line A. This line is labeled line B. Let's pick two points on line A and calculate the slope. We're going to write, to remind ourselves, the slope is rise over run. Now I'm going to start with line A, this line right here, line A, and I'm going to pick two points on line A. I see a point here and another point here, and I'm going to count the rise is three, the run is one. So I write the slope, subscript A, M sub A is up three over one, that's the same as three. Three divided by one is three. Now I'm going to find the slope of the other line, the slope of line B. I'm going to find two points. Here's a point and here's a point. Up three and over one. Slope of line B is three over one, which is also three. Notice these two lines have the same slope. Anytime two lines have the same slope, they're called parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slope. These slopes are equal. These are parallel lines. Let's look at example number seven. In example number seven, we also have two lines. Let's start by finding the slope of line J. The slope of line J, M sub J equals, now I need to find two points. Here's a point and here's a point. I count up three and over one. Three over one makes three. Now I'll find the slope of line K. M sub K equals, let's find two points on this line. Here's a point. I could use that point, but here's another point. This, starting from the left, I have to go down one and then over three. So this is negative one over three. I can't reduce that. So here are the slopes, positive three and negative one third. These lines are called perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines have slopes whose product is negative one. What does that mean the product is negative one? Product means multiply. So when I write three times negative one third, that equals negative one. That's how I know the lines are perpendicular because when I multiply their slopes, I get negative one. The other way I can tell is that three is the same as three over one. These are reciprocals of each other and opposite signs. Positive three over one, negative one over three. Number eight. Find the value of x so that the line passing through the two points has the given slope. Here are the two points, x comma negative seven and one comma two. The slope is three. I could use the slope formula, y two minus y one over x two minus x one, or I could use the graph and do rise over run. Let's remind ourselves that slope is rise over run. And let's use the graph since we're given a graph patch. Let's plot the point that we know. We're going to start with the point 1, 2. 1, 2. And now I'm going to use the slope, which is 3. That's the same as 3 over 1. So from this point, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 up and over 1. I can keep doing that. I could even go backwards, down three and left one. Now what I need to know is what is the X coordinate that goes with the Y coordinate that is negative seven. So when Y is negative seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right here, negative seven, what is the X that goes with it? 
Well, now that I've plotted many points, I can use my straight edge or my ruler and I can connect those points and see where that point should be when the y is negative 7. Let's move our ruler out of the way and see when y is negative 7, here is the point, what is the x-coordinate that goes with it? 1, 2, negative 2. So the value of x is negative 2. That's the missing coordinate, negative 2. This point right here is negative 2 comma negative 7. Now just in case my ruler was a little off, I'm going to continue counting the point, the slope, from the point where I left off. Down 3, left 1. Down 3, left 1. And sure enough, I landed on that point. Take a couple minutes to do a short summary and describe slope using your own words. See you in class.